Hello, everybody. Um, haven't uploaded for a while, so I decided I would make a little video. Um, I've been busy recently. Uh, I haven't finished many major projects ready for release. However, I've been working on a bunch of projects um, uh, bits at a time. So I have a bunch of things that are going really well, but they need some more time to bake. Um, here's a few of them. I have a replica of the Team Fortress 2 shotgun. Um, I'm going to be basing it off of this other design that I'm working on, the uh, Break Action Pistol, which is a shell-fed Break Action Prime Pistol. Um, but this is going to be Pump Action, and then it breaks here. So it'll kind of be like you pump the pump back to prime it, and then it breaks down like that. You load a shell in there, you close it back up, fire, pump action to prime, break down, shell, up, fire. Kind of like that. Um, there's an X-Shot blaster that works similar to this. Uh, I think it's called the Hawkeye. Um, so this is basically that, but better. And it's the really only uh, good mechanism that you can fit into a blaster this size, this uh, Team Fortress 2 shotgun size, because it's very small and tightly uh, packed. This is a normal plunger tube that I use, and both of these tubes in the actual model are way smaller than the plunger tube that I use. So I'm going to have to figure something out, but I'll do it. It'll happen. But yeah, that's one thing that I'm working on. Um, another thing that I'm working on is this, which I can't remember if I've shared before. Um, this is a slab modeled after the Lelong Le Long Carabine from uh, Fallout New Vegas. Ignore the awful coloring. Um, that's just me using a different colors that contrast against each other very well, so I can see which parts are which while I'm modeling it. Um, but yeah, this is that. Um, it's a slab. It's heavily modified. The stock has been changed uh, to be larger parts. Um, the front is massively larger, however the plunger volume hasn't changed. It has a built-in scar in there, like that to match the octagonal barrel of the one in the video game. It has a fake shell tube, um, just there for looks. Um, it has a top-off magwell, so you can see that the bottom of this is solid. Um, if I hide some bits, you can see it's basically a Talon magazine inside of there, uh, but you can load it from the top when the blaster is primed. So when this is Ford's, there-ish, uh, you would be able to top it off in there. Um, that's what this big cutout in the top is for, jamming darts in through the top. Um, this top bar was made angled to make space for that. This is, this is a heavily customized slab, uh, and I'm making it for my father, because he wanted one. And he wanted one from the video game, so I made him one from the video game. Um, it also has a massive uh, fake scope, which is also in the video game. Uh, you will be able to sight down it, um, but yeah, it's massive. But that fits the looks of the video game. Um, I'm also working on this, which is a one-off blaster design. Um, only one of these is being printed right now. I'm not planning to release it. Uh, but this is trying to hit the 500 FPS mark using a Springer and normal darts. Um, this is for the Race to 500 competition that has been going for almost two years now, I think. Um, I competed in that competition in the very early days of it, where uh, getting 370-ish FPS got me in the top 10 of the leaderboard. Now you need to be around 430 FPS to get into the top 10. This is designed to smash through that in one shot. Um, this barrel is not to proportion, uh, but yeah. This is the super high airflow research test bed, as you can see there. Um, it is not meant to be used on a field. It is not meant to shoot at other players. It's just meant to go real fast. Um, 
it fits a uh, 40 kilogram spring in it. So very heavy spring. Um, it's extremely heavily reinforced. It has lots of O-rings for the best seal. It has a lot of plunder tube. And it has double sears to make sure that that spring can be contained. Um, it's sandwiched with five threaded rods, uh, kind of like a cow burn on steroids. Uh, and then it has a massive T-pull on the back for you to prime it. Um, this is not uh, going to be released, more than likely. Um, but it exists. It's something that I'm working on. Uh, I really want to hit that 500 FPS mark. It's going to be real good. And then my most recent project I'm working on is this, which is my first uh, actual foray into AEGs. So uh, stuff like the Stampede or the Colonial Wasp uh, 76 or the uh, Challenger Mark III, stuff like that. Those are all AEGs. Um, so those are springers, but the spring is primed by an electric motor, and then you don't need the prime. So it's like a full auto springer. Um, and I decided to finally start working on one of those. It's still very early. Uh, and I'm trying to use uh, novel and unique mechanisms that haven't been used before for AGs. Uh, just because it's neat. Um, I'm using this as a learning experience for making AGs in the future. Um, so whatever doesn't go right on this is going to be fixed in whatever AEG I make in the future. Um, this isn't meant to be the best AEG out there, not by a long shot. However, I am trying to use uh, some aspects of each type of AEG in this design, so then I know what to do when I make other AEGs using other mechanisms. This is kind of like a, taking one spoonful of everything and mashing it together just to try out every flavor. If, if you get what I mean. Um, but yeah, this is an AG. Uh, and that is a timer. Um, and this isn't done yet, uh, but it's going pretty well. But yeah, that's what I'm working on. Um, I've been very busy with college work recently. Um, also been very busy with business stuff, uh, getting slab sales in various countries. Um, getting slab production uh, more refined in the U.S. as well. Um, yeah, lots of work. Um, my next releases probably are not going to be new designs. They're probably going to be old designs that were never released. Um, so stuff like the Thumper and the Silly Pistol are basically done. They're not completely done, but they just need a little bit of fine polish, and then they're ready for release. And they've just been sitting in my back catalog for months. Like, since Slug shut down his shop kind of time frame. So, like, five months, six months? It's a long time. Um, but I want to I wanna get those out the door. They've been sitting for too long. They need to be released. Um, but, yeah, that's what I'm working on. Um, Feel free to leave any thoughts or questions about the stuff that I showed in this video in the comments below. And, uh, yeah. Have a nice day. Yeah. Bye-bye.